OK, so what is AWS Educator? So AWS Educator is a program that um, from AWS, Amazon. So it's uh, Amazon's global initiatives to accelerate cloud learning and also to prepare students uh, for the cloud enabled jobs for tomorrow. So it was launched in May uh, 2015 and uh, it provides fr free credits for students, for faculty members uh, um, to use and also to learn AWS uh, services. So it's a great resource that um, we can use all those services for free, most of the services for free and without, uh, you know, uh, using our credit card, etc. Uh, so let's hear a story. My name is Tejas Sachdeva. I'm a recent graduate from CSU Channel Islands. Ever since I've been a kid, I've always been into technology, you know, I've kind of been the person around the house who's always fixing things, you know, playing with gadgets. So that's always been an interest of mine in technology. And when it came time for me to choose a major in college, computer science was the one. My professor actually told me about AWS Educate and how he was using the platform to teach students about cloud computing. So that was really exciting for me. And that's where my journey started with AWS Educate. It was like a cloud computing one-on-one -on -one course for me. None of my classes in college were really about cloud computing, so I wanted to see what it was about, how it's being used in the industry, and what are the career aspects of it. 90% of companies use some aspect of the cloud. That is, that is huge. I can take the skills that I learned here and apply them anywhere. As soon as I got exposed to AWS Educate and I got my Cloud Practitioner certification, it exposed me to so many different opportunities, you know, both job related and networking opportunities, which in the end led me to this great position at AWS Educate. I'm currently the program manager intern on the AWS Educate employer team. So my task is to mainly help students get employed. Having gone through the AWS Educate program has put me in the perfect position to help future students because I was in their shoes not just a few months ago. Working on the Educate Employer team gives me a unique lens into the program and just in my first six years I've been able to make changes to the portal which allows a better student experience. The opportunities with AWS are endless. If you're a college student, just dive right into AWS. It's, it's free for students. Um, you can take the Cloud Computing 101 track and just immerse yourself in cloud computing. Don't think twice about it, just go down this road. At the end of the day, you get to learn something new, which you can apply to other areas of your life as well. Okay, great. Uh, so AWS Educate uh, provide a lot of free resources, and those are very great resources. Uh, so first, they have free classes. So, um, like they have career pathways and also different badges um, like the Cloud Compute 101. So we'll we all see that one later. And they also provide some pro promotional credits. So for each student, we will have 100 credits each year. Okay, uh, as long as you enrolled to AWS Educator. So for our class, you have to enroll this Educator program and to run to finish those labs. So for each student, you have 100 uh, credits for each year. So those will be renewed every single year. In addition to that, you, you will have credits for different class. So for our class, uh, we have 50 credits for this class only okay so you will use 50 credits for this class and after, when this class is over those 50 credits will will expire will will be gone and those 100 credits is yours so you can use those 100 credits to use any aws services that are available on aws educator and they also have the job board so that you can uh, find out job opportunities and they also provide training and also professional development okay uh, so for so basically 
they provide free credits. So that is really the reason that we are using AWS. So um, we can use learning AWS, teaching AWS, and even using AWS for your capstone project. They also emphasize the real world hands on learning because they have a lot of uh, online cloud courses. So that I highly recommend that after you taking this class and you can start learning those online courses that developed by AWS. They also uh, forced collaboration between education and also industry. So um, we as educators may have different perspective than uh, AWS. So for example, when we teach machine learning or when we teach databases, we kind of focus on the uh, the basic concept like uh, how we model the data set, etc. Uh, however, in industry, they, they may also ca care about the cost. Okay, so those are some different perspectives. So when you take those classes provided by AWS, so you will see different perspectives by using those cloud resources. And to get started, uh, I believe everyone that already have your AWS Educator account. So you just go to this website, choose the student, um, and also, if you are U.S. veterans, I'm not sure that we are that be anything different. But for student, we just choose student. You fill in the applications. They may ask you the date of birth and also when you are going to graduate. So please provide the real information so that um, your application will be approved. And you will receive an email. Okay, so basically you submit your application. So the application you can apply directly to AWS Educator, or you can just apply through the link that I sent out earlier. And once you submitted your application, make sure you verify your email. You will receive email that asks you to verify your uh, GMU email. So make sure you're a student. If you got denied, <laughs> it happened. Uh, you go to AWS Educator Support. Okay, from there you ask for menu approval. So you then ask you to upload your GMU IDs, etc., and you will get approved. Okay, once you get approved, you will receive a welcome email, and starting from there, you can set your password, etc., and you can sign in. Okay. And the one thing I want to emphasize is that um, if you need to choose which account, make sure you choose AWS Educate Starter account. Okay, make sure you choose this account because this account does not require the credit card information. So it does not require any credit card information. So. Uh, make sure you choose Educate Starter account. Uh, for some reason, if you already have an AWS account and if you want to link that one to Educate account, okay, you can do that just as I did. However, if you are doing that way, your AWS Educate account is linked to your credit card, okay? So that means if you run out of those Educate resources, you may need to pay for what whatever you are using in addition to those AWS educated resource. So for most of us, make sure you choose educator starter account. Um, as I mentioned, they have different free resources. So like they have career pathways, they have digital badges. And also from there, you can access to our to our classroom and also to AWS console. And they also provide some job opportunities. So you can find out some uh, job information that on AWS Educator. So Career Pathways is more like um, online class. So it normally take, I would say, uh, 30 hours Okay, to finish. They have some entry level. They have some intermediate level and also they have some advanced level classes like uh, cloud computing 101, uh, data integrations, 
uh, data scientist, etc. So it may all take longer. Uh, yeah, at least 25 hours that you can finish. And once you finished, you can receive a digital certificate that you can share that one on your LinkedIn. Uh, and you can set put that on your resume, or you can put that on your AWS Educate portfolio. The badges is more like a short color, uh, short online classes that focus on one specific AWS service. So, for example, if you're interested in Alexa, okay, and also if you're interested in the VR, uh, gaming, uh, deep lens facial recognitions, and also if you're interested in robot maker, etc. So that will take at least 10 hours to finish so that you can earn those badges. So those are also certificates, which you can put that on your LinkedIn profile, uh, your resume, etc., to show uh, that to your uh, future employers. And they also have the job board where you can find out those hiring information. So for example, uh, and that also can be matched with your career pathways that you have taken. So for example, um, some job requirement may looking for people that have finished their specific career pathways. Okay, so for example, if you finish these career pathways, and, and that will be easier for you to, hopefully, <laughs> easier for you to, to launch a job that for this job position. Okay, so those are some basics of the AWS Educator.